the introduction to dragon coaching the dragon coaching course came after we'd done up to level five with using the whole dragon scenario of babies and dragons and stars and elementals and the dragon coaching came along and put it all into one focused, really focused table for us to be really able to co-create and use the card. The card, each card has a representation of the baby, the dragon, and you also have some joker cards, which can represent trees or elementals or masters or angels. Other and dragons. Other dragons that aren't in the deck. So it gives you a broader perspective and it gives you an incredible avenue to follow, to go to what your goal is. And that was the original um, coaching that you, coaching one. And then coaching two came along, which expanded into the use of the pillars, the elementals, the air, fire, water, and you have un amazing other things in the coaching two table, which, you know, you have a bank, you can deal specifically with money, you can deal specifically with uh, relationships, with male, female balance, with what's going on inside you, as well as heading for an intention that you have set for that particular goal, that particular table. The dragons don't like wasting time. If they <laughs> don't like wasting time, is absolutely synchronistic. They set up the synchronicities so that things fall into line. You know, the old prayer we used to say many years ago for finding a parking space or doing like that. Well, they do that, you know, mega version, you know, with everything. <laughs> it's like, okay, you want that? Okay. And the cards will show you what is blocking you. What energy is blocking? What do you need to work on? How to get through the blockage? How to change your perspective and move towards your goal? And start activating your ability to really co-create your life the way that you want to co-create things really start to work with you rather than against you mm. and that's where the flow comes in and you're just okay you know the synchronicities that happen are just extraordinary i've been teaching for over 20 years and the people that we tend to attract are people who have been through all sorts of different avenues in spirituality and they tried everything, they are a bit fed up and didn't work and, you know, and I would call the rebels in mm -hmm. the spiritual rebels when um, lots of things that happen in spirituality, you have, you can't do this, you can do that, you are not able to and whatever. And the dragons don't work like that. The, the dragon rules has to be for the highest good of everybody and yourself. Mm -hmm. And... And apart from this, the, the other thing I love about working with the dragons is your ability to think, question, ask them questions, ask them why, and you have answers. And if many, many other uh, people who have, have amazing techniques in, over there, it's only one way of doing things. And you have to follow that way. And the dragons open the door they will connect with you with the principles they let you expand they let you they let you be yourself because that's where the gift is isn't it in allowing your light your own light to shine and not to copy everybody else mm -hmm. um so that's the kind of people we've been attracting are people who don't fit in, in many places mm -hmm. and are finally able to find a place where they can be themselves and each day become more and more of who they are. Yeah. And we don't try and convince people to do dragon courses. We don't. <laughs> it's quite the opposite because we tell people we don't believe in anything. 
we know certain things mm -hmm. that happened because of experience but it's not about belief mm. so you know if anybody will be listening to our conversation and feel the pull to come and join us that's exactly where you're meant to be and if it's your attention is just going elsewhere and it's it, it, it's not the time it might not be it might be later or might not be the path for you but mm -hmm. when when it is it simply is and and we're not going to convince anybody no the cards that come up they'll teach you to question they teach you to question yourself and to question what's going on around you and to you know you come from a very different direction when you're asking questions because it, you're treated, you know, when you're working, you're treated like an equal. Yes. Your There's no higher power. We're, we're all partners here. Mm -hmm. And how can we do the best we can do in this particular situation and improve the outcome for the highest good of everybody? We are, yeah. They are changing the way we see ourselves. We call ourselves spiritual people. And, and we tend to see, to say that we're here to serve. And they say, you are not here to serve. You know, you, human race has been programmed from a very long time to be slaves and to serve. But no, you are powerful co-creators. We are partners. And you have to step into your power to become mm -hmm. your true self and then co-create the planet that you want to live in. It's becoming more and more um open i suppose to accepting other people's theories and and beliefs and all of that and knowing within you there is a power that you can create something or do something different and be individual and that's one of the things that the dragons say about us we have to discover our individuality of who we mm -hmm. are and why each one of us is here with our own particular vibration, with our own yes. particular gifts and abilities and, you know, make the most of that. Mm -hmm. And it's not at all about fitting in the box. If there's no box, this is a voyage of discovery, you know, mm -hmm. discovering more and more and more about yourself, your abilities, your confidence is growing you're empowering yourself, you know, you're empowering other people to be themselves because there's no judgment. It is, you want to do it that way? That's okay. I would say that we've been learning with people who were coming to us as well, because people then when they start to speak up and when they start to, you know, release the fear of being themselves, they have something to contribute. So uh, in Holland, we're doing coaching the root of coaching. But in Brazil, we teach how to become a therapist. And on the most experienced levels, we invited the students who then became um, teachers, teachers, contributors to, to work with us and create, create this higher levels. Yeah. And create new, new, new radionic tables, new ways of testing because each one had a gift, you know, everybody has their own specific way of doing things. And we, we created a collective who we work with now, who are teaching some of our courses. And we're, we're looking at things together and saying, well, how can we make this better? What can we do there to refine that? How can we put all your information, our information, dragon information together to expand our ability to know how mm -hmm. human beings work and how this planet works and, mm -hmm. and how to change it yeah. if it's in trouble you know how to fix mm -hmm. things so the good thing about what we're bringing to holland is um we put together a format that is coaching one and coaching two and we are teaching you lot both mm -hmm. of them we never know when our paths are going to cross again. And I really wanted to bring you the best because that's where you wanted to start and that's the basic that you wanted to move on. So I mixed 
coaching one and coaching two. And on the first day and a half, the first day we're teaching the very basic of coaching one. And on the mm -hmm. later on the second day, we are teaching coaching and um, because we feel that the people who we are attracting for this course in particular are people who have some baggage, luggage, I don't know how you call it, yeah. some baggage. And we can move into, we can just fly together. Yeah, clearing yeah. deeper issues and also people who have done possibly quite a personal development already. So they're actually ready to go to that next level. Yeah. yeah and really live the, our motive, mm -hmm. motive dimension. And we will be doing that. We will be exploring all that sites in such, in such a, a short time. It's two and a half days. Someone said, well, why dragons? can't you just do angels? Um, <laughs> was her mother. So, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> so, <laughs> what was in the beginning? Well, you know, Brazil is a very Catholic country. And that was before, this was 2006. Six. Was even yeah. before how to train your dragon. It was just, it was even before that. And I think yeah. my mother didn't know what to say to her friends, you know, what her daughter was oh, yeah. doing. And she said, oh, can you please just do angels? Angels are cool. Angels, everybody love angels. And I said, what can I do? <laughs> Talking to me. <laughs> yeah. So. But what, I, what I love about it's so all everywhere where you it's also in in the chats that we had and the, the the phone conversation it's about um the directness and the efficiency the um moving um moving forward um instead of well all this this getting lost in i don't know all these directions but just really um being very very um efficient i like that um that approach yeah. um and the well, point again, is, uh, how, how can we make it better? I don't want theories. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, how can we look, look at the mess around us? What can yes. we do to improve? And let's just do it, you know, and we test exactly. and we. When, once your connection is in, you start testing for yourself. You start getting your own answers, you know, so that's important. So I wanted to know about these two dragons. So the, the first dragon that you shared with me was the emerald dragon. Um, so I think that was the dragon that you said, this is the dragon of October. What can you say about this emerald dragon? And then the second dragon you sent was the uranium dragon. So you say a little bit about these two dragons. The Emerald Dragon came from Ireland. We're here in Ireland in the Emerald Isle. And the greens, the 40 shades of green and all the green energies. Um, and the Emerald Dragon is about unconditional love. It's about truly being in acceptance. And that acceptance of yourself that ability to love yourself, to accept what's going on, and to accept that we all we're all a work in progress. <laughs> we're all in expansion all the time. Everything's changing. But to be in that, in your happy place during this, this expansion, these changes, and whatever is going on around you, is it the true mastery of the Emerald Dragon. She really helps you to stay in yourself, you know, and keep your 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 inner power connected to your heart. The first time mm -hmm. she spoke to us, uh, she said that we humans don't know how to receive love, and there are tons of opportunities around us, from nature, from the animals, from other people, and we just don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. So in this first time, she she taught us how to receive love through the heart. In a, and then she said to us, just let's do a workshop where we do, we learn how to receive through each one of the chakras. And there are different things you can receive from different chakras. And and it's amazing how how deprived we are 
about love, not being able to to fully receive, fully them. receive. Even if you're, we talk about about unconditional love and etc. But who will feed yours? Who will feed your heart? What will feed your heart so that you could then become this energy? So that's the beauty of Emerald Dragon. Yeah, she's a real teacher. And the second one is Uranian. Yes. Uranian. Uranium came in <laughs> my very first trip to Brazil. And we were driving from uh, Sao Paulo to Rio along the coast. And it was so beautiful. I mean, it was stunningly beautiful. I had never been, you know, to that sort of tropical beaches and palm trees and beautiful, you know, bananas growing on the side of the road and all of that. Mm. And we came around this corner and I just felt this heavy energy hit and I go, what is going on here? And there was a huge nuclear pod out on the bay, on one of the most beautiful it is. bays in the on, earth, on the earth, <laughs> on the way to Rio. And there's this massive, ugly, powerful, you know, nuclear pod plant. What is that? You know, what's going on there? And to me, energy very dark. The energy around it was very dark. And the dragons were very new to us at that stage. This was 2006 or 2007, maybe. And so we stopped and we said, okay, we're going to see what we can do here and ask the dragons to help. And that's when we connected with the uranium dragon. And he came it felt like from the center of the earth and gathered in a spiral all around this nuclear plant and started sucking the energy off the planet mm -hmm. so that the planet didn't have to digest it was the information that we got and he his information for us on a personal level was you know no matter what's going on no matter how deep it is no matter how heavy it is go to the root and to unravel it and get it out and ask more questions and investigate and until you can, you know, get it out of your system, get it off your your body or you know your energy field, and send it to somewhere where it's useful mm -hmm. because it could be useful in some other dimension or some other universe or cosmos or whatever. So that's but what happens. What happens when uranium appears? to work with us, he invites us deeper, to research mm -hmm. deeper, not stay on the surface. And his energy is actually right now with us. And he is asking you, Margot, to connect with him. Mm -hmm. um, just call in Uranian Dragon. He's asking you to feel his energy. And he asks you if you know why you are bringing the dragons to Holland. Um. Um. Because um, I feel that uh, there is more need um, for people to get perspective, um, guidance, and faith in um, moving forward, and also. Um, in being being part of the responsibility being able to take on responsibility um without that feeling too heavy i think there's a lot of heaviness um which makes people numb um and um so it had, it, um, 
I believe in impossible things. And I think that dragons are kind of impossible, but if you believe it, then it's there, right? So it's, um, and, um, uh, yes, so I think maybe the time is ready to um, welcome more people into stepping forward um, without the, like, there's a lot of mist in spirituality, which I find very troublesome. So it's like there's lots of gurus, secret things, and things you can't touch, and it's not, I don't know, you have to be chosen, you know, it's this oh, yeah. like, excludes elite, elite um, thing happening, uh, which is something that um, uh, I'm, um, I do not want to support this. I want to empower everyone from within, and I think that the dragons are a way um, to uh, be a catalyst that, uh, it, in this process. I'm, go good. I'm gonna ask you to, to feel his energy, and if you can, and if you are okay with that, to become one with Uranian. And from this place of oneness, with the rays that are going through your heart, you send a message to the people who are meant to be at this course with us. For the highest good of Holland. Yeah. The Dutch people. And mm -hmm. therefore, for the world and the planet. Exactly. Yeah. The people know. Hmm. The people know, people feel it when they start to feel that they're in charge of their own power. And it's, it's an interesting word, responsibility, because responsibility from a dragon's perspective is the ability to respond to a situation that's going on. It's not about mm -hmm. blame. It's not exactly. about guilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, it's about that ability to take on whatever is happening and change it. Yeah. So that's, uh, uh, it, they're so good at making you think differently, you know, changing that perspective, changing the mind on that. Okay, how can I change this? How can I move with this? And how can I create something different from what is going on at the moment? And we lived long enough to see many changes happening. And, and it is possible, yeah. especially if you have more than three people working together. You can actually activate a lot of, um, a lot of structures that are completely solidified. And that's mm -hmm. why we do this work, because it works. Uh, I must tell you that I don't believe in anything. And I started this journey by saying I don't believe in anything. I don't believe in dragons. I don't believe in it. So I find it quite bizarre that they chose somebody like me to just work with. So they had to prove. They had to shake me. This, they have to all sorts of things so that I know. I, don't, I still don't believe. Now I know that dragon works. I know that I can work with the elementals. I know. And I'm, I'm not going to change the fact that I don't believe in things. Mm -hmm. It's proven once that I realize that it has changed and has moved. Okay, I'm in. Otherwise, I'm not. Yeah, let's go. Let's do something. Like this. And then it becomes so much fun. You know, it's just, mm. I mean, there is such a good sense of humor and a good sense of joy. In, oh, yeah. In fun. And fun in creating things and looking at things differently and, mm. you know taking away the pain and the suffering because <laughs> the the reason that both of us are in this is because we both decided long before we ever met each other that you know there's too much suffering we have to get you know some way of making this better faster 
and in a yeah. better way. And we both came, I came from rescuing animals and horses, and I came from the refugee projects and rescuing people. And we both had the same mindset in that way. It was like, we've got to end this suffering. Why, you know, why is this still going on on a planet that is, you know, evolving? And, and so much doesn't work. <laughs> and so much doesn't work, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be in the Netherlands, in Zij, in the near Utrecht, um, from a Friday evening, the 29th of November, um, and, uh, until the 1st of December. So it's Saturday, Sunday, and uh, starting on the Friday evening before. Okay. Um, so we're super excited to have you here, Anna. Um, I'm can't very wait happy. to have you really? and the dragons here and uh, <laughs> learn all about it. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Our pleasure. Moi, yes. Almost speaking Portuguese. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your Thank interest. you for hearing the and call. And thank call you for us. having the call. And hopefully I'll see you online during the time that we're there, that Anna's there. Yeah.